What's up, people? I'm Dre here at Dre Sack Studios with... Shyster, how we doing? And he got a, a, a alternative joint for you around what time? Uh, what it was the 80s stuff. 80s. Uh, I grew up with a lot of the 80s alternative K-Rock, listen to K-Rock here in LA. So I'm very exposed to that. That's one of my better topics. Uh, who's, who's the artist we listen to? Uh, we're going to do Echo and the Bunnymen. Um, Bunnyman. band from Liverpool. We had a few different bands come from that era. Oh, that's cool. And from that area there. Um, started in 78. Oh, okay. So this is like beginning alternative? Yeah, what? that's, uh, they started in the beginning of the punk. Like the pop punk. Okay, you not know, pop. Not so much pop. Uh, they did a little bit more towards the pop towards the end. Uh, Lips Like Sugar is... A lot of you guys know it's one of the more popular mm -hmm. pop hits. Uh, a lot of people know him for that song. Um, so will you call him a crossover band? Not necessarily, uh, uh, because a lot of... If you listen to the music from the uh, punk became new wave and then became a little poppy, depending, a lot of these groups from this era yeah. did not specifically have like a sound or a style that they stuck with. So they just evolved and it became yeah. that. Yeah, they... Okay. They did a lot of bands did that from the era. Like punk be slowly became it didn't change into like you didn't they didn't leave punk became punk no. became that right. Well, not necessarily because oh, okay. there's also that punk sound that people still do up to this day now. Okay. Uh, they also have the new. You have ska. You have reggae. You have oh. all of that. So there's like varieties of punk within. Yeah, punk yeah they okay. originated as a punk band. Let's okay. put it that way. Right. You know, like and for what, example, and what category of punk, punk would they fit in? Um, I don't know if they would be considered like hardcore uh, because they hardcore transitioned band. into new wave. You okay. know, uh, very good guitar band, a lot of good drums. Uh -huh. uh, as a matter of fact, when they started, they were using a drum machine. Oh, there you go. Okay. You know, with the early stuff, and yeah. then they got a drummer, and you know, along the line, okay. and they transitioned into some of the other styles. Yeah. You know? And it's a four band. Me? Uh, normally there were four band members, four. but like most bands, a lot of bands they start changing for different reasons. Okay. Uh, two so, of the members passed away oh, from shit, these okay. guys. So uh, originally from the last concert I saw, it was I, Ian McCullough, the original lead singer, and the original guitarist. Oh, okay. the At least the singer is the original. They sing yeah. I don't like when they change the singer. I'm like, that's not the band no more. Believe it or not, this band had another singer. Oh, Because okay. Ian McCullough left. Oh, like a backup vocal? No, oh. replacing Ian McCullough. Oh, shit. Because he left the band. He went that solo. Sucks. So, uh, but now he's touring back with them. Uh, I haven't heard that album. Okay. From, I heard it's good. Yeah. Because I'm very particular. I love Ian McCullough's voice. He's got a great voice. And that's the lead um, the original lead singer. Song. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and they've done a few covers. Actually, in this album, uh, this CD that I'm putting the song from, yeah. um, actually has a cover of John Lennon's All You Need Is Love, uh, uh, Painted Black, Rolling Stones. Mm -hmm. And they also did for the movie Lost Boys. They did People Are Strange, which is a cover of The Doors. Uh, I'm assuming they have a. I'm assuming that they have a big Doors influence. Oh, okay. So, so they get that. Really good band. Uh, they're great live. I've just seen them not too long ago. They still tour. Oh. Um, of course, Ian has a great voice. Uh, I would really recommend you guys get some of their stuff. Uh, this is a good album. If you guys have a chance, yeah. pick it up. What it's song were you to? Uh, we're listening to the Cutters, one of their hits. We're going to resurrect this song. Uh, we want to do resurrection, some of the old hits. Yeah, bring this back. Bring the hits Dre uh, wanted me to do a resurrection. Uh, I don't know it, but I'm sure most of y'all would know it. Uh, well, all you guys that listen to Alternative, I'm pretty sure you remember this song. It's called The Cutter. K-Rock used to play it all the time. Oh, okay, there um, you go. So we're going to do that for you guys, and then we'll follow it up and with the uh, con conclusion of it. Conclusion of this song. All right, cool. Yeah.
very good song, real good guitars and yeah. drums on that. Um, I was considering when you asked me to do the song, I was almost thinking to do my favorite from them, which is Never Stop Discotheque. It's a, it's got a really, really different sound from this. A poppy vibe? Uh, yeah, it's got a little bit like uh, the xylophones and all that, because oh, they were okay. very experimental during this era. Yeah. All these bands were doing like different sounds and stuff. But I figured the cutter was a good one. Maybe next time I'll play it. I felt like they kept it like classic rock though, right? like a turn. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't hear no synths in this one. No, they used the drum machine. Oh, they uh, used the drum machine. Okay. In the beginning. Uh, and this one sounds like they have a drummer there. Have you listened to a drummer? Yeah. It's very Live. good percussions on that. So that's that's when the drummer was in. But mm -hmm. when they first started, they used a drum machine. Okay. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's where they got the name Echo. Because they thought Echo was Ian McCullough's voice. Like, sounded like an Echo. Like, without a yeah. feature? Yeah. Like, his voice sounded like it was like an... If you listen to the singing of Ian, yeah. it's almost like he's got an Echo. But it, it orig I, the name Echo came from the drum machine that they had. The, the drum machine was called Echo. Yeah, they used to oh, call that Echo. Oh. So that's how they got Echo and then the Bunny Man. I what guess the Bunny Man was the rest of the band. So. The Bunny Man? Yeah. What does that mean? You don't know? Uh, it's just the name of the, the, the band itself. It would have been oh, Echo, Bunny the drum man. machine. Bunny and then man. the Bunny Man was the band, oh, okay. I guess. You know, seems like that's what they, what oh, they were okay. going for. You know, because a lot of people ask. and uh, But uh, from I'm not mistaken, that's where they got the name Echo okay. from. And I always thought that it was from the lead singer's voice. Oh, okay. Well, really good album. I recommend you guys yeah, to get it. It's got it. The Promise. Uh, it's got Ocean Rain, another one of their hits. It's All got a life. few good compilation in there. Uh, plus the two covers of uh, John Lennon's All You Need Is Love and Paint It Black. Really well done on this too. If you want, yeah. maybe later, send us a note. We'll play that one of those for you. Um, covers are always hard because, you know, people compare them to the originals, but these are very good. So give us your feedback. It's your forum. You're in the neighborhood. Come in. Yeah, come on and through. Bring your music. Anybody's welcome. All, any types of music. Bring anything. Yeah, and we want to expose everybody to everything because we want to be different from what you get on the radio or on the internet because even on the internet, sometimes you get the same rotation of stuff. So we're just breaking the mold a little. So I mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to seeing you guys again. This is...